Hey everyone, hey it's finally here. We uh, are gonna do our final walkthrough on this uh, new build that we just completed, 2192 North Desert View Drive. Um, we do have it under contract. Uh, we have a, some great buyers who fell in love with the property and um, have uh, moved forward with the purchase on it. And um, we can build anything like this. Uh, we can build it bigger, smaller, any other floor plan you like. But just wanted to show you the final product here real quick. Beautiful day out here, getting some rain, so getting some color over there. The other side will show. Landscaping's all wrapped up. A nice courtyard here. Going kind of fast because my battery's getting low. Doing this at the end of the day here. Great view out of the uh, courtyard area here. All right, let's come on in. Okay, so to the right, we'll start in the office. Our doors all finished up. Looking good here. There's the office. Go to the side of the house here. We've got our laundry here, which turned out fantastic. Really happy with it. Our nice pull-out drawers here as a reminder. A nice sink over there. Pretty good size sink actually. Not quite a full-size kitchen sink, but plenty big here for pantry sink. Got a guest bedroom over here. Okay, and that goes over into the Jack and Jill bathroom. Dual vanity here. Got the tile all the way to the ceiling. A nice glass surround here. It's all clean, looking good. Okay, got the white fixtures up there. This is uh, the other bedroom. Okay, this is what you see up front. So good sized bedroom, nice tall ceilings in here. I think they were so 12, 11 or 12 feet here. Okay, this is the reference courtyard. Alright, as a reminder, this pantry excuse me, laundry, goes into the master closet, but we'll go back around and see that in a minute. All right, let's go check that out now. Living room here, master. We've got linear fireplace, a grate on it now, looking good, all finished up. Slider out the back. So we've got a nice standalone top there, soaker tub, quartzite countertops, White oak cabinetry, love the shower, dual head shower, linear drain. Got the uh, larger vanity here. And then good size closet. Some more space in here. So built in dresser and then there's your door to the laundry. The shoe rack here. to the living room, the kitchen area, the great room. All right. So this came out nice. Another linear fireplace. Okay, we've got our, our doors here. Folding doors. I think I showed you how they opened before. Kitchen here. Portside countertops. Just got the backsplash in today, actually. It's a portside backsplash which matches the countertops. Thermidor appliances. We've got our big refrigerator here. More pullouts. Okay. Oven below, microwave, convection oven combo up top. Got your hidden pantry door. So got that all in. I don't know if that was in last time I did the video. All right, room for a refrigerator, freezer here. Plenty of storage. More storage. Okay, Cut our, uh, cabinetry goes to the ceiling. Well, we gotta sit in there. All right, bathroom number three, guest bathroom. Okay, more of the same fixtures, and that's a Mo and Do is the name, D O U X. If you're curious about what those were, and the matte black. Okay, and the last bedroom here. I'll show you the uh, landscaping out back, and then we'll finish the garage. Go through this door, it's a little easier. Okay, so here we've got our back patio. Great evening. So getting a little bit of storminess out that way. Beautiful out here, nice and quiet. And the finished back corner, we left it open for our potential pool here. It's got all the pool equipment or the um, 
plumbed for the pool equipment. You can see it's got uh, <clears throat> gas power, so I'm putting pool equipment will be easy inside of the pool. And we're gonna finish out here at the garage. We just had the garage floors coated today. Just got the top coat on, looking really good. And there's our, our finished garage, looking real nice, nice and big. Great lighting in here as well. 220 here for electric car, and then we also have 220 on this wall over here for the RV. No, I'm sorry, it's back in that corner for the RV, as well as a water faucet and sewer clean out there so you can have your RV in the bay and maintain it in there. So there it is. We're happy uh, with the way it turned out. I'm glad that uh, someone's going to love it as much as we do, and hopefully more. Uh, if you have any questions or you'd like uh, to talk more about potentially building a home or you know what your options might be, we'd love to talk to you. Um, give me a call, 435-767-8343.